we're just surrounded by uh, pristine sand dunes. There's no footprint. We're on the way to something very weird, very unusual. This is the last video of the Atacama Expedition Series and it's packed with cool, unusual places, remote villages and camping spots. And yes, we're back in Argentina. Hello, Philippe from Sinrumbo. Welcome to the Atacama Expedition Series, Episode 5. So after all the troubles in Chile, we're happy to be back in Argentina. We're stopped just past the border crossing at the YPF uh, gas station, uh, our favorite. We had a uh, nice little cafe and a uh, and little pastry to uh, celebrate our return to the country. Uh, Argentina seems to be one of the few countries that's been quiet lately uh, among its neighbors. Chile is in trouble, Bolivia is in trouble and uh, uh, so it's nice to see that Argentina is quiet and uh, the weather is beautiful here. So now we'll continue on our way um, and visit the north of Argentina. And then turn around and uh, slowly drive back to Mendoza. We have a few interesting uh, spots to visit on the way. We still have quite a bit of ground to cover before we get back home in Mendoza, about 1800 kilometers more or less. First, we have to go down the Paso de Jama, a mountain pass at 4,100 meters. On the way, we'll drive through the Salinas Grandes, a salt pan that is important for its sodium, potassium and lithium mines. So we've reached our destination for the day. Uh, we're in Humahuaca, Argentina, in the north, in the province of Jujuy. Uh, we've seen some beautiful landscapes on the way, desert, mountains. Uh, we're in a campground. The plan is to spend the night here. Tomorrow morning we'll drive a little further north to a remote village in the mountains called uh, Iruya but the drive should be interesting. Uh, part of it is on the pavement and uh, once we leave the, the national road, <coughs> we'll be on gravel. So that should be interesting. Then we'll return here and we'll see we'll, how much time we have. If we have enough, we'll visit uh, town here. There's a lot of uh, native art and crafts and stuff like that. Since we like the campground, we decided to stay another day so we can wash our clothes and uh, we wanted to visit the town as well and we could cook a nice lunch having more time. Our lunches are always pretty basic and simple, it's usually a salad, a piece of cheese, bread. Today we're making eggs and omelette. Uh, the nice thing about having the fridge is that uh, when we find um, cheese, for example, then we can uh, buy a big piece. As I said earlier, the landscapes in this region are very interesting, both in shape and color. 
Here we are near the small town of uh, Pormalmarca and this is the town itself. Uh, there are a number of these small towns that are very touristy where one can buy all kinds of um, local arts and crafts. So we're back on the road. We're heading towards the um, village, let's call it, of um, Kachi, uh, up in the mountains. So we're back uh, gaining some altitude again. Beautiful landscape. Uh, you can see uh, behind me horses, mountains, colors. Uh, we drove this road 10 years ago when it was uh, narrow and uh, gravel. And um, well, 10 years later, they've worked on it. Uh, most of it is paved uh, and it's a lot um, easier to drive. Less of an adventure, but can't have everything. So we stopped a few minutes here. I think we're reaching the top. And we'll go down towards Kachi. We bought some cheese. We love cheese, goat cheese, which is hard to find in Mendoza where we live. But here we bought some locally made ones. We'll have some of that for lunch. Hello again. So we're set up now in the municipal campground in Kachi, a very charming little village, which I'll show you later when we go into town. <clears throat> but the campground is nice. Um, not much room for large vehicles, we barely squeezed in, but we have electricity and it's nice, clean. Uh, there's bathroom, showers and everything, so looks like we'll spend a couple of nights here and uh, we'll be uh, comfortable. On the way to um, Pumice Rock Field, something very weird, very unusual. Uh, the road was gravel for a bit, we're back on the pavement and uh, we'll find the gravel again later for sure. Um, we're at 3,300 meters of elevation here, we found a beautiful spot for ourselves. And uh, it's incredible, we're just surrounded by uh, pristine sand dunes, there's no footprint, nothing. Uh, a few cars and trucks once in a while on the road, but it's pretty quiet, very nice. So once again we're preparing lunch and uh, just enjoying this beautiful place in nature. So here is what the landscape looks like from where we are parked by the side of the highway. It's really incredible, high altitude and sand dunes. From a distance actually from the main highway we were looking at those mountains thinking they were, uh, there was snow but it's not snow, it's actually sand. Since lunch at the 3300, we've been climbing and climbing and climbing and every time we think we're reaching the top, or there's another summit behind, another climb and we're almost at 4000 meters now. It's 
So in the distance where this uh, white uh, truck is coming, uh, this is where we are coming from and uh, we're heading down wheel, uh, downhill uh, as well. And uh, so now this is the other side that's uh, downhill. Uh, just amazing, it's huge, uh, huge sky, huge landscapes and uh, very quiet except for the wind. I'm uh, very looking forward to uh, Pietra Pomes, the uh, Pumice Rock uh, field where we're going to. I think it's going to be an amazing place, so stay tuned and uh, I'll show you once we get there. just left the pavement and we are now on uh, a gravel road, probably <coughs> fairly rough road leading to uh, Campo Piedra Gomez. Uh, the entrance it says uh, 4x4 only even though so far it looks good for any kind of vehicle but uh, we'll see further down how it is. Uh, for sure the landscape looks interesting. It is 4x4 four four here, there's, where we are there's not really a track, visible track. Uh, there's side tracks uh, like we saw in Bolivia, people trying different ways, I guess depending on the weather and their conditions, but uh, I think we found the main one. Uh, the, landscape, the landscape is just crazy, we're slowly getting to the uh, the main part I think and uh, it's really out of this world like it's different from anything we've seen so far. morning it's about 6 30 the sun is about to rise on uh, Piedra Pomes another beautiful day here um, quite lucky to be able to visit all these places I hope I can uh, transmit to you the beauty of these landscapes that uh, we've seen on these travels on this trip Thank you for supporting the channel by watching, by uh, subscribing and uh, clicking like. This has been uh, an amazing trip, uh, no problems at all, everything's gone very well. Mm -hmm.